Egypt hosted a meeting of leaders from Sudan's six neighboring countries in Cairo on Thursday to discuss the ongoing conflict in the northeastern African country. The peace talks hosted by Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi were attended by the leaders of Ethiopia, South Sudan, Chad, Eritrea, the Central African Republic and Libya. The conflict in Sudan erupted in mid-April when tensions between the military and the paramilitary rapid support forces came to a head. The conflict has killed more than 3,000 people and wounded over 6,000, according to the Sudanese Health Ministry. The actual death toll, however, is likely much higher, doctors and activists say. The International Organization for Migration say more than 2.4 million people have been forced to free their homes due to the violence, with around 738,000 crossing into neighboring countries. Thursday's meeting comes weeks after talks brokered by Saudi Arabia and the United States in the Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah broke down after the two warring sides failed to stop fighting and violated ceasefire agreements. In his opening address, El Sisi said that his vision for the crisis end includes a lasting ceasefire agreement, the establishment of a safe humanitarian corridors, and a dialogue framework that would include all of Sudan's wide-reaching political forces. The Egyptian leader called on both parties to commit to ceasefire negotiations organized by the Intergovernmental Authorities on Development, or IGAT, an eight-member East African bloc headed by Kenyan President William Lutu. So far, Sudan is militarily led by Abdel Fattah al burhan and the RISF, led by Mohamed Hamdan Dagaro, have agreed to at least 10 ceasefires, all of which have foundered. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.